This morning I celebrated the uh, 7 o'clock Mass at the Cathedral to celebrate the Feast of Mother Mary Ann. And uh, the reading for the day I decided to use, uh, it was a very short reading, and it talked about Jesus uh, uh, you know, being surrounded by all these people and being so busy that he didn't even have time to eat. And his family said, he is out of his mind. <laughs> now, we've just heard readings about wisdom and uh, blessedness and happiness. And uh, it strikes me that certainly Mother Mary Ann was a wise woman and a blessed woman and a happy woman and inspired others to be so. But she was also a little out of her mind <laughs> because uh, you know the in invitation that she had received to come to a place uh, so far away, 6,000 miles away from her home, uh, a place she had never been to before, and not only to go there, but to work with uh, patients with a disease that others didn't want to have anything to do with. She had to be a little bit out of her mind to do that. And not only did she send her sisters, she came herself. And so we learn from her that uh, uh, serving the Lord sometimes takes us uh, uh, to do crazy things, to do things that are a little bit on the edge, uh, to go over uh, what is uh, what is normal, perhaps, because uh, uh, you know what is is normal is not always what people need. And so she responded to those needs, the real needs of people, with great joy. Certainly, she suffered. Certainly, it was difficult for her and the sisters who came with her. No doubt, they had to uh, make many, many sacrifices and perhaps cried themselves to sleep at night those first few nights or months or even years. Yet, there was a joy in her heart because she knew that this was serving the Lord and serving the least of his brothers and sisters. And so we thank God that we have now this uh, woman to be our example and now this visual image of this great uh, example for us. We pray that uh, we will come here often to be reminded of uh, her dedication so that we can be more dedicated, of her blessedness so that we can be more blessed ourselves in our uh, wisdom, in our craziness for the Lord.